Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. This week I am sharing with you some Valentine cards and treat holders. It's coming quick and you need to get some cute little things made for all the kids that you send treats to. This is the one we're going to make today. Let's get started with this treat holder. Now this little treat holder holds three Hershey Kisses. And wait till you see how easy it is to make. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to take the Stitch Nested Labels dies, and you're gonna take the largest one, and I'm gonna tell you to cut out two of them, because we use one for the treat holder and one on the front of the card, all right? You are then going to score this, after you get it cut out, you're gonna score it, put it into your scoring tool and score it two inches from this edge, flip it around and two inches from this edge. There was no way I was gonna get the measurements right, so I just did two inches from each side. All right, then you're gonna take the cute little heart from Heart Felt and some real red ink and you're gonna stamp this heart all over and remember to rotate your paper so that you your heart goes in different directions and this is a tiny heart so be careful because I don't know if you can see but I've got ink over there so be careful not to rock it or you'll get ink where you shouldn't have it and I didn't rotate it See, that's what happens. Good thing that's on a fold. Oops. If that happens, usually with the photopolymer, you can line them back up. That's off a little bit, but not much. And the part that's not going to show too well is actually underneath. So, all right. And I must have some stuff on my ink pad. All right, I'm gonna finish filling these in. Also try to vary it. I just noticed most of mine seem to be going in a line and it, I didn't plan it that way. So I'm gonna add some pieces to it in some different directions. Now, I didn't worry about trying to go off the edge because it's got the stitching and I figured it wasn't that big of a deal. Okay. The next thing you need are three Hershey Kisses. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wave this and make sure it's good and dry, and I'm gonna fold on those score lines. Make sure your edges match up, like so. All right, using your glue dots. Take a glue dot, put it on the bottom of your Hershey Kiss, pull it off very carefully so you don't rip the paper. In fact, I'm going to use my pokey tool to help pull it off. And then you want to set the middle one down first. All right. Then I'm going to do the next one. If it doesn't pull off, and it's not pulling off really easy. Just take and pop it off, but you don't want to rip your Hershey Kiss paper. Add that one, and then that's the last one. Um, now usually if you kind of tilt it, you can see the glue dot and take your pokey tool and take it off. And add the last one, and I'm keeping it between those scored lines. Next thing you need to do is you need to pull your two tips up, hold it tight so that they're lined up, then take a, I'm gonna move my hand, um, hole punch, and you want a little tiny hole punch, and punch a hole about a fourth of an inch down. All right. I pulled out some retired skinny ribbon because I had some left and I'm going to thread that through my hole like so, 
cut it off. I'll trim that other end when we're done. And then I took some of the white baker's twine. Now, I've had this, but the new one comes on a roll. So to get rid of the kinks in it, I just take and treat it like it's um, ribbon, and I'm going to curl it. All right, and I'm going to take my baker's twine, and I'm going to, this is getting in the way, make a loop. And I'm going to pull it down as close as I can get it to the tips. And then I'm going to make another knot because I want to make sure this stays tied. All right, and now I'm ready to make my bow. All right, I'm pulling it north to south. All right, take the bottom one, pick it up, make your loop, top one over and through the hole, and pull east to west. Hold your knot, adjust your loops, all right, and it's twisted, so I'm going to untwist it and pull it, and watch how easy that loop then gets rid of that twist, and there it is. Then I'm going to take my scissors and trim my ends, and there's the cute little treat holder. Now let's make the card that goes with it. All right, This is the card that we're going to make. All right. First thing you need to do is you need to take your card base, fold it in half, and burnish it for a good fold, good crisp fold. I then took a piece of white and I added it to the top. I tried to use Valentine colors for two of the projects. And one I wanted to show you different ways because you need an idea for the guys. Some guys don't mind it, but in case you have one that does. All right, I then took a piece of white, uh, red that was smaller than the white, and I embossed it using a subtle embossing folder. So something with not a lot of texture. And I don't know how far I'm gonna get with my tear and tape because I can already see where the other piece is. So we'll see how far I get. And if I don't get very far, which I don't think I'm going to, yep, that's it. I'm not going to use that because that'll be a more of a pain than anything else. So I'll pull in my other double-sided tape. And I'm going to take and finish putting this all the way around. And you do need to use double-sided tape when you emboss something. Um, when you emboss a piece of paper, you have valleys and hills, and the hills get all the um, sticky, the adhesive, and the valleys don't get anything. So you need to make sure you use something that's really going to hold, because if it's um, if there's nothing but the tape or glue, it may not stick to hold that panel in place. So if you use some double-sided tape, that's going to make sure that it sticks to your card front. And now if you have some that go over the edge, just kind of push it back on itself. I do that all the time. All right, now this goes on the front of the card base like so. And this piece looks like it's a little smaller than that one. So maybe the white piece is too big, but that's all right. Gives it a different look. All right, now we're gonna take that other piece 
that um, we cut and you're going to score it down the middle. Now it's going to be off a little because it's, it's tricky to try and figure it out. So I just kind of lined it up like this and scored as close as I could get. So I used my two, two ends here on my um, scoring tool. Okay, now we're going to take that same cute little heart stamp and we're going to stamp it all over again. So let me get started here and I'm going to try and remember to rotate it. I'm trying so hard not to... Actually, what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to take my towel and I'll wipe those edges off. So at least I don't have that starting out. All right. And just stamp it all around. I just kind of ink it up and rotate and I'm not real particular about where which direction it goes but I do want it rotated so it does look a little more random this is how you make your own DSP all right got that done I'm gonna close this up so I don't get it on me all right this piece all right I'm gonna give it a few minutes to dry All right, when it's dry, fold it in half. And as you can see, you know, I'll show you in a minute when I flip it over, it's not an exact match. All right, it's off a little. So make this the front so that it's longer. All right, I'm gonna open this up. And I used Love You Lots from that Heartfelt Stamp Set. And I'm going to stamp the inside, and I'm going to make sure I don't stamp it upside down, with Love You Lots in the middle. All right, got that there. All right, now, I have to put this on with tear tape, um, with double-sided tape, because it's going to get a lot of opening and closing. So you want to use, again, a strong adhesive. Um, and I wanted something that wasn't going to shift on me. The glue can has a tendency to shift or can shift, which is good if you need it to shift, but I don't need it to shift. So I'm going to use my double-sided tape, and I'm putting tape all the way down. I'm going to cut that there, and I'm going to put a little tiny piece on the tip because I want to make sure that that tip stays down also. Now, do not put this on your card until you make your next image. Reason being is you need to make certain you have space. So I pulled in a piece of white, and this time I used the outline and that lacy heart at the top. So with my outline, I'm going to stamp that first. Um, if you're afraid you won't get the image inside lined up, stamp it first and then do the outline. Um, since it's photopolymer, it's pretty easy to see, so I didn't have too much trouble. Like so. All right. And now I'm going to pull in my punch. And I'm going to punch it out. There is that one. And then from a piece of uh, scrap of black, you're going to punch the scalloped heart. Okay. We're going to attach the two of these together. And you need this piece to know where to put your little, I don't know what you call it, interactive um, shape. 
All right, now, what you wanna do is you wanna figure out where to put this and this because that heart holds it down. All right, so I'm gonna take the backs off of this now. So I'm ready to put it down. And then I'm gonna use my um, punched heart to know where to put this. Because if you put this down and you don't have enough space for your heart, it's not gonna work. Ooh, one stuck to me. And I got a couple of ends over here that need to come off. So what I did was I held it in my hand and I kind of laid my heart on there stuck that corner down so it wouldn't move on me and then stuck the rest of it down. All right, now we want this heart to hold that down. So you wanna put dimensionals on here, but you don't want it on this corner. So I usually put it, flip it over, keep my finger there, and then I take one dimensional and put it on the other one and I know where the rest has to go all right so what I did was I kind of went around the sides and I did stick one in the middle and one down here so I've left that whole corner open all right I'm gonna take my backs off Maybe, get that one before it sticks. Come on, all right. Got all of these, and now I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna add that to the front of my card, and it's done. And then I use the same heart for the inside of my card and my envelope. And there's our completed set. I hope you're looking for some Valentine ideas because I've got some more coming later this week. Make sure you come back and check me out. If you want any of the supplies, they're linked below. And it takes you right to a shopping cart in my store and you can click on the ones you want and order them. I would appreciate it. Thanks for visiting me. Have a great day.